Some prefer charcoal dust, while others say wood ash is the real garden conditioner. Like every serious gardener, this is a choice you'll eventually have to make, especially if you prefer organic gardening. While the two come from the same source, wood, what they do beneath the soil, couldn't be more different. One builds long-term strength from within, the other gives a quick, fiery burst of minerals. Get this balance right, and your plants will thank you for seasons to come. Let's dig into the real science, the right ratios, and the exact step-by-step -step guide to using these soil boosters correctly. No fluff, no myths, just results you can see in your garden beds. Charcoal dust, often called biochar when used in gardening, is carbon-rich material produced when wood is burned with limited oxygen. It's not just burnt wood. It's a stable, porous structure that lasts for centuries in soil. Think of it as the skeleton of your soil, a framework that holds water, nutrients and microbial life. Wood ash, on the other hand, is what remains when wood burns completely. It's not carbon anymore, it's minerals. It's rich in calcium, potassium and trace amounts of magnesium and phosphorus. But it's also highly alkaline, which means it raises soil pH. That's a blessing for acidic soils and a potential curse for neutral or alkaline ones. So, the golden rule... Wood ash is powerful, but needs precision. Charcoal dust works slowly, but surely. It improves soil structure by increasing porosity and water-holding capacity. It also enhances cation exchange capacity, meaning your soil can store and release nutrients more efficiently. But there's a catch. Raw biochar can temporarily lock up nutrients because of its high surface area. That's why it must be charged before use. Charging means mixing it with nutrient-rich material like compost or manure to fill those tiny pores before adding it to the soil. Wood ash, meanwhile, is a fast-acting soil conditioner. Because it contains oxides and carbonates, it neutralizes acidity and releases potassium and calcium almost instantly. It's perfect for crops that love slightly alkaline conditions, like tomatoes, brassicas and beans. However, using too much can raise the pH too far and harm delicate roots. Balance is everything. Biochar doesn't decompose easily. Once added, it can remain in soil for hundreds of years, acting like a permanent sponge for nutrients and water. Studies show that adding 5 to 10 percent biochar by soil volume can significantly boost microbial activity and crop yields. This makes it an excellent long-term investment for tired, sandy or depleted soils. Wood ash's effects are immediate but short-lived. Its high calcium carbonate content acts like lime, rapidly neutralizing acidic soil and improving nutrient availability. But unlike biochar, ash doesn't improve structure. It simply adjusts chemistry. That's why many gardeners use both strategically biochar for structure and long-term fertility. Wood ash for a quick pH and potassium fix. Let's make this practical. For a standard 10 by 10 foot garden bed, that's 100 square feet, start with one and a half to two cubic feet of biochar if you're new to it. If you want a more robust application, go up to three to four cubic feet, but never overdo it on the first try. Now, here's the crucial part. Charge your biochar before adding it to the soil. 
Mix one part biochar with one part compost by volume. So, for two cubic feet of biochar, mix it with two cubic feet of compost. Add about three litres, roughly three quarts of water, to moisten the mix evenly. Let it sit for a week, if possible. This pre-charging step ensures your biochar is alive with microbes and nutrients before it meets the soil. For wood ash, go gently. You'll need about half to just under three quarters of a kilogram, that's roughly one to one and a half pounds, for the same 100 square foot bed. That's enough to raise the pH slightly without overliming. Always test your soil first. If your soil is already neutral or alkaline, with a pH of 7 or above, skip the ash. But if it's acidic, meaning a pH below 6.5, it's a perfect time to sprinkle that measured amount. Start by testing your soil pH with a simple kit. If your soil is acidic, you're safe to use both conditioners together. If it's neutral or slightly alkaline, skip the ash and stick to biochar. Mix the charged biochar thoroughly into the top four to six inches of your soil. This is where root activity is highest and where the biochar can really do its best work. Over time, you'll notice the soil becoming darker, lighter to handle, and less compacted. Next, apply the wood ash. Spread it evenly across the surface. Never pile it up. A light dusting is all you need. Rake it gently into the top inch of soil. If the day is windy, moisten the soil slightly first to prevent ash from blowing away. All right, so after that, you'll want to water the area well. Use about 10 litres, or roughly two and a half gallons, of water for every 100 square feet. This helps the minerals dissolve and move into the soil layer, you know? Then just wait about one to two weeks before planting. This waiting period gives the soil chemistry time to settle. And when you finally get around to planting, you'll notice your soil is fluffier, better draining, and more responsive to moisture. It's quite the transformation. Never use ash from charcoal briquettes or treated wood. Those contain additives and heavy metals that can harm your soil. Stick with clean, natural wood ash. Also, never mix fresh wood ash directly with nitrogen fertilizers or compost. It reacts chemically and can release ammonia, wasting precious nitrogen. Avoid dumping ash year after year without testing. Its alkalinity can build up and make your soil too basic for most plants. Remember, moderation is what keeps your garden thriving. As for biochar, don't add it raw. It might look harmless, but uncharged biochar can temporarily trap nutrients, starving your young plants. Pre-soaking it in compost or manure tea solves that instantly. If your goal is to strengthen soil structure, retain water and support long-term fertility, charcoal dust also known as biochar, is your best friend. It's the soil's memory keeper, storing nutrients and moisture for the long haul. If you need to correct acidic soil and add a quick shot of potassium and calcium, wood ash is your quick-fix hero. Use both smartly and you'll create a soil ecosystem that keeps feeding your crops long after each season ends. For the perfect mix in a 10 by 10 bed, remember this. Two cubic feet of charged biochar plus about one pound of clean wood ash, followed by a good soak of two and a half gallons of water. That's your secret recipe for a living, breathing soil base that performs season after season.
At Timeless Crops Haven, we believe great gardening starts from the ground up, literally. If this soil showdown helped you understand how to use what you already have for better yields, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share this with a fellow gardener. Let's keep growing smarter, one bed at a time.